Okay, so some of you guys might know I did a similar video to this back in summer, I think, like 10 months ago. And although the video did really well and a lot of people left likes, the video had more has more than 65,000 views, so that's really good. Um, some people didn't really understand what I actually did in that video and they left hate comments and also dislikes. And I can't blame anyone because I was stuttering a lot and also the audio quality was kind of shitty. So I decided to remake that specific video. But a small problem we got, I don't have GTA 5 installed because I deleted it and I'm not going to reinstall it again because that will take a long time and it's not worth the effort for such a small simple video. So you can go back and watch that video and see how well this method works and then come back here to actually follow the tutorial. I'm still going to show you the before and after, like the comparison between the game running before doing this and after uh, doing this method, so you don't have to leave, but if you want to, you can. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you is go into settings at uh, the display setting right here. Now, I want to scroll down and show you guys uh, something. We go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties and you guys can see i'm sitting here with 128 megabytes of vram right okay so this is the amount of vram intel hd 4600 has let's click on ok and actually start doing this method it's not click beta guys do not worry now you want to hold down the windows key on your keyboard and the r button and this little window will pop up you have to type in reg edit if it's not already typed. Mine is. Now click on OK. Select yes on this little window. OK, so after you select yes, this will pop up. We have a bunch of folders here, but we're looking for this one. HK local machine. Now double click on it and these other folders will pop up. You want to go to software, double click on software. And you want to look for Intel right here. Now double click on Intel. And now after these pop up, right click on it, go to new and go to key. Now press on key. So you want to name it GMM, but make sure you guys have caps lock on. Hit enter and double click on it. We are already in it actually. Now you want to go to this blank page with your mouse, right click, new, and go to D word 32 bit value. And this is one of the most important steps. Some some of you guys got this wrong and this is why it didn't work for you. You want to name this dedicated segment size. But make sure the first letters of each word are in capital letters. The D, S and S. That's super important. Okay, now hit enter, right click on it, modify, and this little window will pop up. Click on decimal, and you want to write here 512. And although I said in my other video, you can actually go higher than this, you can't, I'm really sorry, but I don't know if this is some sort of a limitation from the, uh, the Intel HD 4600 processor or whatever it is. I don't know why we can go the bigger value than this. So click on OK and we are done. Now you want to close this window and what you want to do right now is restart your computer, which I'm going to do right now. So you guys can see I'm not bullshitting anyone. It's actually restarting. Um, let's just wait for it to actually restart i hate this part because it always takes a lot of time not because of the method or because of what we are doing my laptop takes a lot of time to reboot and i have no idea why but i'll keep waiting you guys can see the same laptop so i didn't change it or anything like that now it's time to go into settings really important really important go to go system, to system. Uh, go to uh, display, go to display. We are ready at display. Go to advanced display, 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 display settings, properties, and you guys can see it actually changed right there. So 
Only of you guys that were saying it doesn't work, it didn't change for me. Here you go. If it still doesn't work, then I have no idea what you are doing wrong. I, I seriously have no idea what you're doing wrong. I, I don't know. So if it still doesn't work for you, there's something that you're doing wrong 100%. You guys can see it does work for me. It's the same Lenovo machine from before. And uh, if any of you are wondering how to go back to change this back to 128, you can just delete the GMM folder from Reg Edit. It's that simple. And you don't even have to restart your PC. But now it's time to show you the gameplay difference uh, in GTA 5. From the other video, actually, not from this, because I do not have GTA 5 installed. And it takes a lot of time to install it. Peace! Okay, so as you guys can see, we are in GTA right now. It's just loading up. And by the way, I'm not using mods. I've only installed the car spawner mode, nothing else. No graphical tricks, no nothing. And I'm going to show you that you can even bump up the graphics if you want. You still get good frame rates. You just have to choose. Do you either want 60 or 30? By the way, this is a Lenovo L440. It's a ThinkPad. Okay, now we are in GTA. Let me just show you how the game runs. Huh? Just tell me this is a massive improvement. As you can see, it's not a video. Let me just move my trackpad. You see, you see right? You see? We are moving. Look how good the game runs. And let me just show you my graphic settings. Uh, right now, settings. Um, as you can see, my graphics are set to, of course, normal, which is pretty much just low in GTA. Normal, it's low. They just put normal just so you don't feel bad. But as you can see, shader quality it's set to high reflection quality is set to high which of course uh would never be possible on a freaking um intel hd um laptop with integrated graphics and also make sure you choose uh direct extent because that will massively improve your experience just look at this you see 512 megabytes uh, before it was uh, 138, now it's 512. As you can see, we are over that, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay experience. Let me just show you why um, I told you to choose Direct uh, 10. When you switch to 11, boom. You see, you lower that by, you know, changing your graphic settings. But as you can see, the game runs nicely and you don't have to install some ugly you know graphic tweaks to like play gta the game looks pretty okay to the eye you know nothing fancy nothing bad i'm just uh really amazed because no one um like i i found no tutorial about this on youtube and like and like why though because it's such a good method because you don't have to downgrade your graphics or download any tweak this is all done without downloading anything and you get pretty good performance and by the way my laptop is a thinkpad l440 and it's not even in performance mode which would give me more frames than i'm having right now again i don't know why this is not on youtube or anything but now you found it so guys uh this was it hopefully you enjoyed the video and um just uh, make sure to give a like and share this video with your friends with your low-end pc friends uh some here signing out